Okay, there's a lot of action on this label. It's pretty, pretty difficult, pretty busy. But what you need to know is that the wine is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Daniel Castaño is here. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Um, holy cow, Bodegas Castaño. Let's talk about this. Well, first of all, let's talk about where are you guys at? Well, the location is uh, southeast part of Spain. <clears throat> and uh, we are pretty close to the coast. Uh, the Alicante, Valencia, mm. uh, uh, you know, we are uh, inland from uh, this uh, point, uh, 70 kilometers, and at the same time, we are high in altitude, Got which it. is one of the, you know, uh, main, uh, perhaps, uh, elements for us to enjoy the condition uh, of, the, of the weather for Monastrell. Right. Now, and, uh, and that's the thing. I think Spain, you know, most, most folks think Spain, they think southern Spain, they think hot. Yeah. But... There's a difference here, right? Because of that elevation. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So it's hot, it's hot during the day, but cool in the evening. That is true. The thermal differences is are uh, very important. Yeah. So especially in summer, we may have like uh, 40 degrees uh, during daytime, and uh, you know get down to perhaps uh, 14, 15 degrees uh, nighttime. So it's uh, you know night temperature can be you know quite low. So that's that's that makes a, a very exclusive microclimate where down down where we are. Yes. Yeah. And let's talk about the grape variety here. You know, uh, it says Monastrell in the label. Uh, for those of you that might not be familiar with that, it's basically the same grape as Mouved uh, in France. That we call we, we call it Mouved out here. And some folks call it Mataro. Like if you see an Australian bottle of wine, you might see Mataro. And on a couple American bottle of wines, you see the phrase Mataro. But Monastrell has been growing here for a long time, correct? That is correct. Yes, exactly. Monastrell is uh, the grape variety has been in that part of the Levante, we call it Levante region, which is southeast, Valencia, Alicante, Murcia. And apparently, you, we enjoy the, the right climate uh, for the adaptation of the variety. I mean, it's, uh, it's a very resistant variety, so uh, it can stand in, on a very healthy and uh, great condition without any, well, you know, water for, for months. So, you know, that's one of the most important things for us, the, the dry condition for the for the variety is essential, really. Right, because my experience with Monastrell or Mourvet is that it's kind of a, we call it like a feast or famine grape variety. Yeah, <laughs> like thrill of victory, agony of defeat type <laughs> deal. Where I've had some really bad kind of furry, nasty Mourvedre wines, and I've had some epiphanies. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And it's all based on the conditions. Exactly, exactly. Where it's grown, how it's grown. Yeah, exactly. No, this is, uh, you know, it's, uh, well, uh, we, we've had uh, years where we haven't uh, had uh, uh, rain. Some years we've had a little bit more rain and it hasn't really, you know, uh, worked uh, correctly. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, normally we have no more than uh, 250 millimeters of rain during the year, which is uh, the, the average, uh, uh, rainfall average we have. And, uh, you know, that is the perfect kind of uh, uh, com condition for the for the variety. That's uh, you know that's the key element we enjoy down where we are. Man, I'm smelling this. I just want paella and I want it <laughs> right now. But I want your paella, the, the <laughs> yes. real paella, right? Yeah, exactly. The yeah. one we have in the region is the the one that matches with uh, with a <laughs> wine like this. <laughs> now you like use all the rabbit bits and pieces, right? Not just the. The rabbit yeah. hearts, rabbit uh, or livers or whatever. Yeah, exactly. I mean, down down where we are, which is inland from the coast, we. You know, the, the typical one we have down there is we call it uh, rice with uh, rabbit and snails, yeah. which is, uh, you know, dry rice, very thin layer, and it's really tasty, it's, uh, you know, amazing flavor. And uh, well, a no, wine like this, you know, it's a perfect pairing, you know, for, for that type of rice. I could pretty much drink this wine and eat that paella until I just pass out and vomit. This is unbelievable. <laughs> now, and here's the deal. This wine has a, a retail on the shelf of maybe around $10 in the United States, right? Uh, uh, approximately, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. This is ridiculous. How old are the vines that go into this wine? We we talk about uh, forty to fifty years old vines here. Yes. Now, in California, you talk about forty to fifty year old vines. The, the vintners are like having a party and talking about how great they are with these old vineyards. <laughs> but for you guys, these are like your younger vineyards, almost, right? That is true. Yes. I mean, <laughs> we may have. Uh, you know, uh, bush vines monastrell in that area mm -hmm. can be, you know, uh, between normally average for us could be uh, 60 to 80 years old vines normally. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. You have to get the yakla sometime and see it for yourself. These amazing white soils, right? Yeah, that's right. Yes. It's almost like the chalk. Very the chalky. Chalkboard. Yes, yes. White, friggin' boom, these little stubby old vines. Yes. Just 
And the wine that comes from them is, is so generous and beautiful. Yes. I mean, some of the, some of the greatest Monastrel in the world comes from this neck of the woods. That, I mean, is, that is true, yes. Well, it's probably the first Monastrel, right? Were you, is, where, where did Monastrel start? Yeah, you know? well, I mean, uh, originally, apparently, uh, Monastrel comes from an uh, area in the Valencia region, uh -huh. uh, where, you know, which is only, you know, a few, uh, uh, I mean, 100 kilometers from where we are. Mm -hmm. And uh, apparently, uh, you know, uh, centuries, uh, centuries ago, uh, you know, some seats were, fine, were found in that area. And, uh, well, you know, for, for centuries, uh, this variety has uh, been uh, produced in that area, which confirms that originally the variety comes from that part. And, uh, well, you know, I mean, the, the point of uh, adaptation of the weather, uh, well, you know, uh, says, uh, talks about the, 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 the region. So it's, it's, uh, if we could, if we track back, uh, you know, in, in many years, uh, that area, you know, has been uh, produced uh, monastrel. And in fact, the name monastrel refers to monasterio, you know, monastery, mm -hmm. which is uh, one of the monastery uh, that was uh, placed uh, near to this uh, location uh, in, in Sagunto, apparently they were cultivating the variety there, uh, you know, in, in uh, you know, many years ago, yes. That's too cool. You know, Mourvedre is one of my favorite grapes when it's done right. <laughs> yes. Right? You know, he knows better than that, right? Um, and this wine is completely done right. It is one of the greatest $10, you could probably find a sub $10 wines in the market. It is absolutely smashing value. Dan, thank you for making this. Well, it's a, it's a person. I, <laughs> I, <laughs> I've, been, I've been seeing, you know, the response of the wine here in the market. And, uh, you know, we are really, really pleased to see that the grape, uh, you know, showing this potential, you know, is having uh, that response in the market. Yeah. The world needs more wines like this. <laughs> Cheers, Daniel. Thanks for coming today. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. <laughs>